Unit 8, Video Lecture 6, Percent Yield. The maximum amount of product that can be produced by a given amount of reactant is our theoretical yield. This is what we've been calculating. And as I said, it's the maximum amount of product. This is the product made from the limiting, react from the limiting reactant. Now, if we actually do the experiment, we actually complete the chemical reaction, the product that's produced from the lab is the actual yield. Usually, this will be going to be given to you in a problem. So the percent yield, we're going to compare our actual yield to our theoretical. This is going to give us our percent yield. It's very similar to when we say that if you were to take a quiz and you were theoretically supposed to get 10 points on the quiz and you actually got 9, your yield on that would be 90%. If 15 grams of copper 2 chloride react with 20 grams of sodium nitrate, how much sodium chloride can be formed? And then part B, if we actually make 11.3 grams of sodium chloride, what's the percent yield? So if we look at, if we look at part A first, we take 15 grams of copper 2 chloride, and we're going to stoic to a particular, pro to a, a particular product. Here we want sodium chloride. So we'll go from copper 2 chloride, we'll go from mass of copper 2 chloride to moles of copper 2 chloride. We'll do that by using, the mol by using molar mass. And we'll go from moles of copper 2 chloride to moles of NaCl, and we'll do that by using our mole ratio. And then use our molar mass again to go to grams of NaCl. If we look at the molar mass of copper 2 chloride, the mass of copper is 63.55 plus 2 times 35.45. This gives us a molar mass of 134.45 grams of copper 2 chloride in one mole of copper 2 chloride. Grams of copper 2 chloride cancel out. For our mole ratio, we're going to look at our balanced equation. We want sodium chloride, so we're going to put moles of NaCl on the top. And we want to get rid of moles of copper 2 chloride, so we'll put that on the bottom. Going up to our balanced equation, we see that there's two moles of NaCl and one mole of copper 2 chloride. So our last step is to do the, the molar mass of sodium chloride. So 22.99 plus 35.45 is 58.44 grams of NaCl. And remember, molar mass is always to one mole. To solve this, I take 15 divided by 134.45 times 2 times 58.44. And with 15 grams of copper 2 chloride, I could make 13 grams of NaCl. I can then take my second reactant, which is 20 point grams of sodium nitrate, and I'm going to do the same mass-to-mass -mass stoic problem and figure out my mass of sodium chloride. This time I'm going to take the mass, the molar mass of sodium nitrate, which is 85 grams of NaNO3, and remember molar mass is one mole, I'll then take my mole ratio. Here I have two moles of NaNO3 from the balance equation, and still two moles of NaCl. And the molar mass of NaCl is still 58.44 grams in one mole.
For this problem, it's 20 divided by 85 times 2 divided by 2 times 58.44. And I see in this case, with 20 grams of NaNO3, I can make 14 grams of NaCl. What this tells me is that I can only make 13 grams of NaCl. I'm limited by my copper 2 chloride. This makes 13 grams of NaCl my theoretical yield. So for part B, if 11.3 grams of NaCl were actually made, and I should have been able to make 13 grams, 11.3 divided by 13 means that I have a percent yield of 86.9 percent. If I start the above reaction with 40 point grams of magnesium and an excess of nitric acid, how many grams of hydrogen gas will I produce? If I actually produce 1.7 grams of hydrogen, what's my percent yield? Well, here I'm already told what the limiting reactant is because I have an excess of nitric acid. So here I can start with my 40 point grams of magnesium and I'm going to use the same mass of magnesium to moles of magnesium and I use that, do that by molar mass to moles of hydrogen to mass of hydrogen and I'll use the molar mass there. So 40 grams of magnesium, the molar mass of magnesium is 24.31 grams of magnesium in one mole of magnesium. From the balance equation I see that I have one mole of magnesium and one mole of hydrogen. Remember, my mole ratio comes from the coefficients in the balance equation. And then my molar mass of hydrogen is one mole of hydrogen is 2.02 .02 grams of hydrogen. Now I take 40 divided by 24.31 times 1 divided by 1 times 2.02 .02 and I can make approximately 3.3 grams of hydrogen. Part B tells me that I make only 1.7 grams of hydrogen. So percent yield is actual over theoretical. So actually I make 1.7 grams Theoretically, I should have made 3.3. Therefore, my percent yield is 52%.